Now we read Alma and How She Got Her Name by Juana Martinez Nail. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Chandela. That's my name and it fits me just right. I am Alma and I have a story to tell. My name is too so long, Daddy. It never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name, then you decide if it fits. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books, poetry, jasmine flowers, and of course me. She was the one who taught me how to read. I love books and flowers, and you too, daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. The world is so big, I want to go see it. Daddy, you want to go with me? Just was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family, like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the places to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. I wake up early every day and I draw a lot too. This morning, I drew a kitty cat for you, daddy. Pura was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist, a charm to keep you safe. Hello, Pura. It's me, Alma. Chandela was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. I am Chandela. I love the story of my name. Now, tell me about Alma Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and the only Ama. You will make your 